Hey there, guys. This is Donna Bells. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Majora's Mask. And last time we beat a mini boss, and I was just chilling here with our new froggy friend. Isn't he cute? Can I pick you up, little froggy? No! You're no good to me. Stuck up frog. I didn't like you anyway. Enough wasting time with froggies. As I promised last time, we'd see what's behind this door, and it's a pretty chest! It's so fancy! I thought the other chests were fancy, but this one's amazing! Now, if you haven't seen a Zelda game before, then, well, you should know what this is if you have seen one. But here it is! Ta-da! Boss Key! Now you can enter the chamber where the boss lurks. Oh, and then this next boss is scary. Well, it is to me anyway. Now, in this game, the keys are called Boss Keys which makes sense because they lead to the boss. But in some other Zelda games, they call them big keys. I'm not really sure why they change the names in some of them, but you know, whatever. I always call them boss keys. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool wall right there. It doesn't like hurt you or anything when you touch it, but I like it. <laughs> hey there, frog. I was just kidding when I said earlier. I think you're still cute. Will you come with me? I can push you out, right? Come with me, froggy, since you won't let me pick you up. You are my little pet frog. I shall call you Kuroku. And I always thought Kuroku was a good froggy name, so that, that will be your name. Come with me. Ah, you're so difficult. Uh, you know what? Waste of time. Asshole. Won't even let me pick him up. I didn't want you as a pet anyway. Gah. So, forget the frog. We are going back to the big room with the big wooden flower shriny thingy. And now that we have the special hero's bow, we can do something even further. Um, now see how Na Navi, <laughs> our fairy friend, what is her name? Tattle. She goes there and gets all green. That means it's important. So we are going to use our hero's bow and be heroes because that's what we do. We are, we are special heroes. Now let me see if I can, uh... nope, didn't work. Gotta aim it right, center it, and I don't know if I'm aiming at the right place. Maybe a little more up. Yeah, screw it, I'm targeting it. <laughs> what the hell, man? I was just saying in the last video that I was a good aim with this bow, but you know. Targeting, targeting always helps. Oh, look, and now the flower is like a fancy merry-go-round. And we actually have to uh, use the torch that we just lit on top of it. Uh, to light the other torch that we saw over that way. So, and yes, we're going to do this while the flower is moving. Wow, fancy jump link, fancy. Don't fall now. Now the best way I think to do this is get as close to the center as possible and keep your bow aimed at the torch that you have to light. And then once you're right behind the lit torch, ah, fire like crazy. It goes a little bit more to the left or no, to the right. There I am going with bad directions again. It goes a little bit more to the right than you think, so aim a little bit more left. And... Go, go, go! Oh, so close! Okay, now I'm just gonna stay here and uh, keep my arrow aimed at it. And... Spam arrows! Spam them! Yes! Woohoo! Woo woo! In my practice file, I actually got that on my first try. But, you know, I have that kind of stupid beginner's luck like that anyway. Since that was the first time I tried it in, like, years. Alrighty guys, moving on! Yes, we are almost done with this temple! This is the, uh, I guess, disabled octopus room, because it only has six legs, but... Now that we have this hero's bow, we can snipe all these stupid bugs in here, because we all know how much I hate the buggy bitches. Now... You die! Yeah! And then, the fairy, of course. I'll get that in a second. And, oh, Spiders! I know I probably don't need to kill all of them, but you are dead because I hate bugs so much! You die! And this one, I don't even think I need to kill you, but there we go. Just on principle of how much I hate bugs. And of course, we're gonna put on, oops, wrong. I'll put it on the down one. Link's gotta put on his fabulous mask again. We all know it's his favorite. Come here, fairy. Ah, she's spinning around me. Sometimes you gotta, <laughs> you gotta like get in their way. There we go, like that. Or they'll just like keep spinning around you. It's so annoying. I don't know why that happens, but. Uh, now we have a few more fairies in here to get. 
I think there's like three. And there's, I, I think a couple on this, wait, which side do I go to? Left, I think. There's two on the left side and then one on the right side, which we will get. Woohoo! There's one, 13, lucky number 13. And, eh, might as well get money because money is awesome in this game. Love the monies. I don't know if I told you guys, but we are uh, trying to collect a whole bunch of rupees to put in the uh, in the bank because we get another prize. I think at like five thousand. So, whenever you save in this game, try to put your money back in. And there's our last fairy over there. Oh, so close. And pop. Yes, come hither, little fairy. I know you can't resist Link in this dashing pink mask. Woohoo! We got all the stray fairies! Oh yeah! Happy dance! Go Link! Such a ladies man collecting all 15 of those little pink bitches. And we'll go to the fairy fountain after this, but for now we have to finish this temple. And let's go to the other side. You could have just waited to get that fairy like, to go to the other side, but I just like going to the second platform up here. Um, because we have to go to another platform, and it's just easiest to get there from here. And, let's see. Now see these torches right here? There's actually a flower on one of them, so we need to put out the fire on top of the second uh, tiki torch thingy. And there is a, uh, a diamond right there, or a switch, that we have to snipe. So, as soon as we do that, the fire's gonna go out, and we gotta get over there as fast as we can. Alrighty, of course we're gonna change back into Dinky Poo. Oh, little Dinky Dinky Poo. I love him. <laughs> now see, it's easiest to get down to this platform right here by the second platform. And then the first Tiki Torch does not have a flower, so just head on to the second one. And you'll, you should have plenty of time if you do it the right way. And then we go up here. I believe a spider was over here earlier, but we killed it, so we don't have to worry. <laughs> now see, look, the torches aren't even back yet. So we have plenty of time to get over there. I love how these like tiki poles, whatever, have the red rupees on top of them to make them look like torches. Very clever, but I'm not gonna go get them because then you'd have to just jump back in the water and do the whole process over again. Oh, hello, night of the second day. Ah, is there a fairy? No, what? What? I needed a fairy. Ah, here we are in front of the boss door. And, like I said, this boss in here, so creepy, definitely matches the music to this temple. Oh my gosh, so scary. Now, what we're gonna do during this whole battle is wear our bunny hood and use our... Oh no, I don't have very many arrows, and I don't even have a fairy. This is not good. This is not good, guys. I am very ill-equipped. Is there not, like anything in here usually they have tons of stuff you know right before a boss but eh, not in this game apparently ah, i'm so scared oh hello bunny ears bunny ears of bravery be brave little link that bunny hood will surely scare the pants off any old scary ass boss in here ah! no, wait he doesn't have pants <laughs> 